ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஐ ஆம் மலர்விழி ஒர்க்கிங் அஸ் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் அருணாச்சலா காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஃபார் உமன் இந்த டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இசிஇ த டாபிக் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு ப்ரெசன்ட் இஸ் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி மாடுலேஷன் ஃப்ரம் த சப்ஜெக்ட் இசி எயிட் த்ரீ நைன் ஃபைவ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி சி த டெஃபினேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி மாடுலேஷன் Frequency modulation is defined as the process by which the frequency of the carrier wave is varied in accordance with the amplitude of the modulating signal that is based on the changes in the amplitude of the modulating signal the frequency of the carrier wave is also changing this is called frequency modulation but the amplitude and phase of the carrier remains constant after the modulation process also so this is the block diagram for generating the fm signal first the input message signal is given to the integrator the integrator integrates the message and the output is given to the phase modulator the next input to the phase modulator is carrier signal the phase modulator modulate the two signal and generate the fm signal next we see the representation of fm wave we are considering the message as well as the carrier signal as a sinusoidal signal therefore the message signal is represented by vm of t is equal to vm cos omega mt here vm is the amplitude of the message signal and omega m is the frequency of the message signal next the carrier signal is represented by vc of t is equal to vc cos omega ct where vc is the amplitude of the carrier signal and omega c is the frequency of the carrier signal already we know that the instantaneous angular velocity omega i is given by omega i is equal to omega c plus kf into vm of t here kf is the deviation sensitivity of fm next we are going to substitute the value of vm of t in equation number 3 therefore vi is a uh, wi is equal to omega c plus kf is into vm cos omega m into t we are considering this this as equation number 4 next we are going to integrate equation number 4 which gives the instantaneous phase angle of the frequency modulated wave and it is represented by pi i therefore pi i is equal to integral omega i into dt next we are going to substitute the value of omega i here so by substituting omega i value omega i is equal to omega c plus kf into vm cos omega m into t by integrating the by equation we will be getting as omega c into t plus del f divided by fm into sin omega m into t next the fm wave is expressed as v fm of t is equal to vc into cos pi i next we are going to substitute equation number 5 in equation number 6 therefore v fm of t is equal to vc cos omega ct plus del f into a divided by fm into sin omega m into t equation for fm signal again a del f divided by fm is termed as modulation index of fm signal and it is denoted by mf therefore the fm wave is expressed as v fm of t is equal to vc cos omega ct plus mf into sin omega m into t so this is the equation of fm signal next we see the fm wave form first is the message signal and next one is the carrier signal and third one is a frequency modulated signal the message signal is a low frequency signal and the carrier signal as the high frequency signal so in message signal in the positive cycle as the amplitude is increasing the frequency of the carrier modulated signal is also increasing and next during the negative cycle 
the frequency of the carrier is also decreasing so we are getting the high frequency as well as the low frequency signal so the frequency of the carrier wave is changing so as the name frequency modulation next we see some of the definitions related to frequency modulation first one is frequency deviation that is represented by del f it is defined as the amount by which the carrier frequency is varied from its unmodulated value after frequency modulation. That is how much the frequency is deviated from the unmodulated value after the frequency modulation that is represented as del F. Next one is the modulation index. It is the ratio of frequency deviation to modulating frequency. That is MF is equal to del F divided by FM. Next we see the bandwidth of FM. So Carson's rule gives the bandwidth of FM. So Carson's rule approximates the bandwidth necessary to transmit the angle modulated wave. That is it is twice the sum of the peak frequency deviation and highest modulating signal frequency. Bandwidth is equal to 2 into del F plus FM where del F is pre peak frequency deviation and FM is modulating signal frequency. Next, we see the types of FM. There are two types of frequency modulation. First one is narrow band FM and second one is wide band FM. So, when the modulation index is very small, the bandwidth is also very small. Therefore, it is called as low index FM. Here, bandwidth is equal to 2 into FM. Next, wide band FM. If the modulation index value is large, we will be getting the bandwidth as large. Therefore, the bandwidth is too large. Ideally, the bandwidth is infinity. So, that hence the name wide band FM. These are the advantages of FM signal. It improves the noise immunity and also the low power is required to transmit the FM signal. And all the transmitted power is useful. And here, we are not getting any adjacent channel interference because we are due to God bands. These are some of the drawbacks. Very large bandwidth is required to transmit the FM signal and also the FM transmission and reception equip equipments are complex. These are some of the applications of FM signal. First one is radio broadcasting, sound broadcasting in TV and also satellite communication, point-to-point -point communication and two-way mobile communication and ambulances we are using FM. Thank you.